perfect dip. You find the right balance between everything. You find the right balance between that great meal that you can share with somebody and uh, maybe throw in a little bit of uh, drink. I'd maybe throw in maybe throw in a little bit of wine or something to to make the make the occasion a little more romantic without gorging yourself or uh, or going um, over the deep. A simple dinner somewhere and uh, we just talk and um, and then maybe go for coffee and that's it. <laughs> he probably went for the adventure. Yeah, prepare adventure. Yeah, no, no, the hiking, enjoying the nature together. Love. Perfect day. Activity. The activity is really important. I mean, like going out, dinner. Uh, my idea of a perfect date would be to go out and uh, do something interactive, like getting to know each other uh, all over again. Um, Picnic in the park and staring to the night sky. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe my perfect date because we are working, right? And then when Thursday is tomorrow, so my perfect date will be like a baby date, so watch a movie, and at home, hang out, like eat food, like home cooked food. Yeah, that's my perfect date. Honestly, just like good dinner. Um, I would say uh, dinner would be fine, but I would say maybe going out for a uh, laser tag or something fun. Hang out together, like having spending time with each other, and that's <laughs> I don't know, nice dinner, nice place. Actually, preferably at home, or home. Yeah. yeah. The fact that is whatever she wants, ah! whatever she likes. <laughs> uh, a roller coaster ride, and then hot dogs. Going out to do an extreme sport for dinner, and then like some dancing after. But not like clubbing sort of dancing. Mm -hmm. Like jazz kind of. Well, something different. It could be like swim for it or it could be <laughs> a trip somewhere. That would be an ideal date. A surprise. Uh, my idea of a perfect date would be, I guess, just a regular dinner. I guess with the person I like, then basically that's all I need for a casual dinner date. Most about my wife is um, she does a she does a fair job of taking care of herself, but she's not she's not overly high maintenance. She's a really reasonable woman, so there's never there's never any uh, over demanding request, especially for like Valentine's Day. I'm not I don't have to buy I don't have to buy her a diamond to make her happy. I just need to take her out and give her give her a good meal. And, uh, and let her know that I really care and love her. We share a lot of things in common. And he doesn't feel awkward talking to his. Yeah. Um, it's funny. You can make me laugh at the time. <laughs> mm, I don't know. <laughs> when I live, I just live. There's no such thing as uh, no like, second thought, that kind of stuff. I just straight from the heart. <laughs> Actually, I don't want a perfect boyfriend. I want a friend, you know, um, be there for me and know my weakness, but still love me for who I am. <laughs> my ideal boyfriend is Ryan Gosling. Someone funny, definitely. Someone um, caring and very handsome. <laughs> That rich handsome. Is it okay? Too much? <laughs> she has to be, not has to be, but it would be nice if she was nice and like uh, supportive because you know sometimes uh, guys are always expected to be macho and you know always like um, um, always on top of things but sometimes we're not and, and it's nice to have someone who is da there for you for the downtime as well. I think that's the most important. Obviously, responsible, mature, but not only mature all the time. It gets a bit boring. The important would be uh, I'm able to talk to the girl. I mean, even though looks set apart, if I'm not able to talk to the person for like five minutes, then there's not really much point. So at least I must be able to have a conversation with her. Loyalty and 
Uh, someone fun, I guess. Doesn't get, yeah, doesn't get boring. Someone who knows what I'm talking about and someone who can talk to me about the things I love. Like K pop and current pop. Yeah. I like that he's brutally honest. He's quirky and she's stubborn. <laughs> Maybe caring, I guess. Um, honesty and loyalty. I have absolutely no idea. Uh, let's see here. Um, quiet night, a, a decent meal. Uh, maybe, maybe catch a movie afterwards. Uh, maybe I would spend time at home watching um, rom-com movies. I guess. Oh, <laughs> I'm working. Yeah. So, uh, we don't really celebrate Valentine's. Uh, it's every day is our Valentine's Day. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Maybe, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we should. Any plans for an entire day? <laughs> I'm single. <laughs> Come on, date me out. <laughs> Nothing. Uh, working, I don't know. I don't have a date. <laughs> so sad. <laughs> yes, I'm going on a big gay Valentine's dinner tomorrow. Me and my girlfriend are going to a uh, private function. Uh, kind of like a tasting, uh, a tasting menu at a restaurant, uh, my friend's restaurant that's about to open. So it should be uh, interesting. He's a, he's a really good chef, so I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. We don't have plan for it. We just do anything we want to do, like just randomly. Nothing. <laughs> Boring. Nothing yet. Oh my god. <laughs>